Hello, happy Sunday, Florentine Quack. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who else do we have? Let me get the chat pulled up here. Not sure which one. Hi, Rosalind. How are you? How are things in your part of the country? Hi, Lucinda. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, ladies. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I know I'm late, not as late as I have been, um, but I'm going to give the room just a minute to uh, build because we're actually going to talk about Dooney tonight. So I know that's how most of us kind of came together and the reason that you're subscribed to this channel. So we're going to kind of go, you know, a little old school on you this afternoon. Hi, T.L. Bo. Hello, Military Mom. Happy Sunday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, if you're in Texas, I do know what that means. Y'all have been having big fun, and now y'all are being sent back to your rooms. <laughs> I do understand. All right, ladies. Um, so while we're well i'm sure there are a few more people that are going to join but i do have a couple of questions for you um the first is is anyone other than me watching uh the show called the council of dads hi closet guy am i the only one watching the the council of dads i am absolutely in love with that show I know I'd recommended um, Little Fires Everywhere, and I know several of you watched that and really enjoyed it. And then the second series that I um, recommended is called Sweet Magnolias. I highly recommend that one. It's only one season in, and it comes to a conclusion way too, way too soon for me. And then The Council of Dads is what I am watching now and believe it or not i never watched uh the good wife um maybe when it first you know the pilot i might have watched one or two episodes and i just couldn't get into it and now i am like anytime i have free time i'm binge watching the good wife but if you are not watching the council of dads and if you have not watched season one of a sweet magnolias then i highly highly recommend it and if you didn't jump on when the rest of us were watching Little Fires Everywhere, then you got some catching up to do. Just make time for it, save it to your list, download it, and just start watching it. All right. Um, so, many of you are probably in the same boat that I am in, in that today, I believe, is day 10 of the Duty and Berg Summer Fun Sale, which will last for 12 days. Um, so we have basically until Tuesday to place our orders. Unlike prior years where there has been this big reveal at noon, um, every day of the items that are on sale, Dooney kind of modified its approach a little bit, kind of did a coach on us and said, here's everything that's on sale <laughs> divided by day, which was themed for summer travel so you know different states for i think it was states maybe it's cities i can't remember um th but that was kind of the theme right and the theme tied into the merchandise that was featured for that particular sale day so we got two more days to make a decision also changes that i realized that they kind of made this year is usually when Dooney is having its summer fun sale, ILD is also doing its own version of the summer fun sale. And if you're like me, and if you've been around this channel for a while, then you probably are wondering like, why haven't I heard the theme or the, the reminder from Dooney Attic and from Mrs. Q to make sure that you're checking both sites for sales and you know, same things on sale, different prices. Well, they really aren't doing it. They have an extra 20% off going on right now with, it, um, I think it's Leather Love, but it's a very, very small group of um, 
products that this additional 20% off applies to. But if one of those items is something that you're looking for over on Dooney and you're not necessarily interested in taking advantage of Dooney pay, then you can make that purchase from ILD. And if you're interested in, in spreading the payments out, then you can use Klarna. But keep in mind where Dooney, like QVC, is one payment per month. So if something's on three or four, then it's three or four months. With Klarna, if it's four payments, it's not four months, it's two payments per month because they do theirs every other week. So bi-weekly to kind of align with what I guess most people are getting paid at, right? Bi bi-weekly. So just keep that in mind. I have um, not made a single purchase during this sale. But I have made a couple of Dooney purchases that I haven't shared. And some of these items are available right now on sale on one site or the other. So I thought this would be a really good time to kind of share them with you. We kind of do a finale of the summer fun sale. And while they are discounted, if it's something that you may or may be considering, have looked at but weren't really sure because maybe you needed or wanted a closer look, then hopefully we'll be able to check the box for you tonight. So the very first thing that I want to share with you is a piece that has completely not been on my radar. And many of my tribe sisters and probably many of you have um, already gotten this. So I'll admit I'm late to the bandwagon. Um, matter of fact, I kind of distinctly remember Military Mom to the Enabler Corner and says what to the Enabler Corner Picking up these items, or at least discussing these items, two years ago when we were in Chicago for our first um, Dooney meetup. And you're probably thinking, what in the world? Well, it is the Dooney and Burke Clutch Wallet. The Clutch Wallet. Now, I had this wallet, and I'm going to open it so you can see it, but I had this piece confused with a different um, clutch wallet similar in size but different functionality. I don't even know the name of it but anytime somebody said clutch wallet this is what I was thinking about but I think the one that was a no for me is actually a, a framed purse or framed wallet because it has like the kiss lock on the back where you can put coins and then it has like this envelope shaping situation in the front. And although I own Kiss Locks, confession, I have yet to use a single one. Just haven't. I, I bought them, but I'll admit I'm still semi-scarred from my childhood when it comes to Kiss Locks. And some of you know what I'm talking about. And I even had a post not too long ago on Instagram and many of you echoed the same sentiments that you were scarred as a child with kiss lock accessories. So I get it. But this one is amazing and I will likely not use it as a crossbody or as DJ King calls it, a wallet on a strap. It will truly be a wallet for me. So let's take a look at it. It is, listen, this is available on both Duty and ILD, if I have my um, sites correct. But before you pull the trigger, that is Amazon delivering. Um, before you pull the trigger, I would suggest you check overstock.com because these same items have been available on overstock.com for $69, where they have been $89.99 and I think $119 um, between Dooney 
and ILD between the sites depending on what the promotion is. So if it's something that you're interested in, check it out. It comes in Florentine. I missed out on the Florentine. That was like two years ago. I haven't been able to find it. Um, but the pebbled leather is what I have. They also have it available in Safiano. So if it's of interest to you, then there are a couple different price points, couple different leathers that are still available. So what captured my attention when I finally realized that it didn't have the stinking, z the little kiss lock on the back is the fact that it will fit my phone pop socket otter box and all will fit here in the front you matter of fact you can see they even have two thick pieces of styrofoam here in the front because the front pocket has this accordion on it so as you've already been sent to the enabler corner you're in good company tonight though my military mom is joining you <laughs> But here it is here in the front. So I'm going to take that out just so that you can see it really does have some good space. No, it's not a major purchase. Some of you may consider it a, a, a wallet, some a crossbody, some a wallet on a string. But if you're looking for something, um, this is something that I was kind of late to the bandwagon to. You haven't seen this at least on my channel, so I thought I would share it. Now, let me pause. I cannot remember whose comment it was, but I so appreciate this subscriber because um, I was venting about there not being anything new or exciting in this sale. And it's not, it's not, don't get me wrong. I haven't changed my opinion of this, but she reminded me by saying something, she reminded me of something that I actually said when we were talking about the 12 days of duty for the holiday season, which is that one, this is a great time to start gift shopping. Now she didn't say that, but I'm pulling back from what I said in, in December last year. We're headed into July. I start shop Christmas shopping in June, July because I want to be finished in November. So if you're like me and you're already starting to think about Christmas, if you're already starting to think about um, late third quarter and fourth quarter birthdays and you're looking, you know, you need to buy a gift, this sale is good for that. It's not necessarily for the collector. And many of us are here because we're collectors so when these kinds of sales and promotions come around, we're a bit disappointed because it's nothing new and fresh for us because if most of us, if we want it, we've already made the purchase. So and that was the piece that she reminded me of, that this, this sale is not targeted to collectors. That being said, there may be some pieces or accessories or bags or things like that that maybe weren't on your radar screen or that you were kind of hesitant about where this may be the price point to pull the trigger. All right, I'm done with that. All right, so a uh, logo here on the front, flap, good as snap. Y'all, I have had such hard times with a couple of coach bags because the hardware is just, it, it's just not the quality of Dooney and it has, made me rethink some of the things that were on my radar from them because I need strong hardware. This one has strong hardware, it has a place where I could throw my phone, my checkbook, slip pocket here. You could slip some cash or maybe some receipts. And then you have a detachable strap. So I would use, it's going to be an oversized wallet, but I would use it as a wallet and on the back, on the back, look, here's what I want you to see on the back. The, on the back, there's a full wallet, slip pocket and eight card slots. Plus there's space here in the center, right? It had two of these and the card registration card in here as well. So you still have some, a, a a space right there's a gusset and then you have a zipper pocket 
um, on the, what I'm going to call the interior wall since it's to the front of the wallet. This one, let me see if I can get my, it's tight, but I do believe that as the leather softens a little bit, you may get a little bit more give in this back pocket. Probably a good place to stick cash. But this would function as a fully functional wallet. And it has, for those of us that can't, that struggle with the two and three card slots, this one has eight. So, I didn't just buy one because it was a good price when I picked it up. I actually got red because I believe red will go with everything and I have a couple of things that I can pair with it if I choose but I also got the caramel or caramel color got some things here props um, because it will match the trim on many of my dually bags so it's one of these that once I move into it I could stay in it for a while because it's going to pull the trim. Exact same setup, just different color and same leather, pebbled leather. So, got those. Don't miss out on these on the site. If you are not a crossbody girl and if you are not a big wallet carrier then please skip these nobody wants your experimenting wallet return so if you're not a big wallet carrier then i would suggest skipping it make sure you pay really close attention to the dimensions on the site if you're looking at it it is a larger wallet and if you're trying to get a feel like, for example, if you knew that Alice was too large for you, then so that you can kind of see it in comparison, it's definitely thinner than Alice. Alice is taller, deeper and longer. But it's still a really thick wallet. Like, it's it's got like a little, it's almost to a, the depth of Alice. All right? The other thing is Alice does not accommodate like a crossbody strap. She does come with a wristlet strap. Um, and that one's in here. I keep it stored when I'm not using it. But similar setup to Alice in that, actually Alice has one, two, three, four, five. Alice actually has 10 card slots. So it's, a, it's still a big wallet. It's big in size and it will accommodate some pretty significant volume. So let me just kind of get these again side by side so that you can see them and make a decision if this was too big for you as a wallet you definitely do not want this if you wished this was more of a crossbody than a wristlet then you may love the idea of the clutch wallet okay all right Moving on. All right. I give Dooney its fair share of grief. It earns it, but I do give it to him. My expectations for them are extremely high because they should be because that's what made me fall in love with the brand. Um, and I have... I love, let me just say that, I love the idea of Wallet Wednesday. I love Wallet Wednesday. 
But I really love Wallet Wednesday when it started because there was a lot offered at a single price point. They have since kind of modified it. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's at $59, sometimes it's less. A mixture of price points. Sometimes it's a very, it's all over the place right now. Um, I am still very disappointed that with the release of what I'm going to call their summer patterns, right, that we didn't get a large tote in the bumblebee or the watercolor or the cupcake. But what I will say is that I picked up the little medium wristlet. And for everything Dooney has done wrong, they got this right in the colors, at least. The colors are very vibrant, far more vibrant than I remembered this print being. And at $39, it was worth picking up on a wallet Wednesday. The medium wristlet is available on the sale now for $39. Y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that is the cheapest price that the medium wristlet has been offered. But I just want you to see that it is showing up true to color. It is as bold, bright, and as vibrant on camera as it is in person. So whether you are looking for something to kind of go with your um, teals or grass or Kelly greens or your strawberry or red dandelion lemon yellow French blue Parisian blue navy your little bit of coral maybe a little bit of salmon it will absolutely work for all of those it is absolutely gorgeous in person and for those of you um, you know that I struggled with this size and ended up carrying a much smaller or similar size piece when I was in Mexico in December and actually used it as my wallet. So I know that I can, at least for short term, make this work as a wallet or use it in some of my smaller bags. What I want to do is show you as a size comparison taking it off because I'm keeping it. It's been here for probably two months and I'm finally getting around to sharing it. Um, but I want to show you this compared to the size of the corner zip wristlet from Coach so that if you're more familiar with the Coach piece than the Dooney piece, maybe you'll do a little bit of exploring during the sale. Um, so here are the pieces side by side. Dooney has a much longer much more substantial wristlet strap so just let's just take a look at those right i'm gonna get them lined up and there's the difference there and the thickness definitely a heavier piece than this and it's it's mainly because of the leather the trim right the zipper pull and because you got a wristlet strap and a zipper pull, so you can use it as a wallet or as a wristlet. You also have the trim. You also have um, where Coach has the, you know, the little foil. Dooney has actual hardware, right? And it has leather piping. So very different. But let's just take a look at the size of them, which I believe is all uh, both of them are comparable for those of you that have like the little piece from lv comparable this one looks a little slimmer but it's only because the side panel is divided into two with the piping where it's a continuous design for the coach one similar in height and length i do believe that the dooney one though has a little bit more of a butt on it. It's a little, it feels like, maybe it's not, but it feels a little different. All right, the Coach one, pretty standard. It has two card slots, dark lining, and there, that's, 
That's it. Can't hardly see it because of the dark lining. And then the Dooney one has a, a, a key ring inside. So if you needed a place to hook your keys to either hang on the outside because you can zip it with the key on the outside or if you want to put your keys on the inside it has the hardware and no card slots on the interior so it's just a little pouch red lining so not as dark as the coach version all right i I, I hate that I missed out on the large wristlet when it was on the $39 Wallet Wednesday because it seems like it's not going back to that price. But I am glad that I picked up this one because it's going to go with a lot of different pieces. And just um, to think about if I wanted to use this maybe as a tech case as opposed to a wallet since it doesn't have a um, any card slots to kind of pair it with this is a tech top. Because it has the yellow, I've got a red or green. I could make a pair out of these very easily. And then, because they had another one with a completely different print, I decided to get the Bumblebee one as well with the white background. But it has nice color variety in it as well. Hold just a second. That's going to drive me crazy. So here's this one up close. The D's and B's. I absolutely love this. This should be a staple all the time for Dooney. Like, all the time. I, I'm even, I, I mean, it just should disagree with me if you want I just I like it and I really want it in a large leisure tote which I'm likely probably never gonna get because it's not available so colors are showing up true to color so my blue lovers this will definitely pair with a lot of your pieces it can pull Yep. Yep. But when I pulled the trigger on these, I thought about a purchase that I actually made from Nordstrom Rack because I had been on the hunt. I need blue, uh, yes, black, caramel, red, and oyster in the tech tops. I need those. Um, and I found the white on Nordstrom Rack. So I pulled the trigger on it. Y'all know I like. But because in my summer bags or white bags, I could move into this. And it can go from bag to bag to bag without me having to worry about changing out every single thing. And it pairs perfectly with the watercolor because of the background. Same hardware, card slots in here, got the option, you know, extra storage here in the front. And look at this. Now, yeah, the, the trim is a different color and I know for some of you that's gonna drive you bananas. I mix metals, I will mix leathers. So it's not bothering me at all. But I like having these options that I can kind of mix and match. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Last thing I want to do really, well, it's not the last thing. Um, from a size comparison, some of you may have these little numbers.
from a size comparison, I want you to see what the medium wristlet is <clears throat> compared to the coin case or card case. Significant difference in the size. So if your preference is this, or you're using this in smaller bags, but maybe you want or need a little bit more room, <clears throat> this may be an option for you. Keeping in mind, this has the outside card um, slot. This one does not. No organization at all in the inside, but it does have the hardware with the key ring loop on it. But just so that you can kind of see the size comparison here. And you can see it compared to the coach size, which is basically the same, but since we're comparing, here we go. This will not go in the front pocket. You can't zip it. But if for some reason you needed a accessory inside an accessory or a wallet or catch-all inside of another piece, they will fit inside the tech top. If anybody finds tech tops, matter of fact, even if it's not the colors that I said that I was looking for, any of them, please leave a comment, hit me up on Instagram, tweet me if you got my email, because I am on the hunt to kind of finish my collection. I don't need the commentary on that closet dive. Yes, I'm going to continue to finish my collection. There's a gap. <laughs> There's a gap that I am trying to fill. Um, let's see. I also want to quickly compare them to Coach Double uh, Zip Wallet. Isn't that pretty on camera? <laughs> Ooh, it's so pretty. Similar height, not too terribly taller or shorter than the Dooney, but there is a difference in the length, okay, and size comparison here. The, the coach piece is truly a wallet. It truly is a wallet. And I guess for you small bag people, I guess this one could be considered the same. And then Hayden, I saw today the Claire crossbody, no, no, it's not Claire crossbody, the Claire shoulder bag in the ombre and it was absolutely gorgeous and if they had one in the back I would have likely purchased it but the idea of 10,000 hands having been on it uh, convinced me to leave it there but here from a size comparison because Hayden is going to function as a wallet for me the same way this is a wallet this is a wallet will be a wallet so these will fit in here. I think it will, because no problem. We'll see. It will, but uh, let's see. Hold on. Not that you need it in here. But it's not going to snap. So it's a little bit taller. Okay. But how Hayden compares to Dooney, they are similar in height. Coach has the back outside pocket, Dooney does not. Okay. 
and Hayden has the zipper, open compartment, removable crossbody strap, slip pocket, and eight card slots. So definitely more capacity here, but this is also going to take up a lot more space. A lot more space. Catch the rainbow. All right. Last thing, completely not related to Dooney. I uh, was on Target when I was making some accessory purchases there several weeks back which you've already seen and they had this little Revlon textile pouch thing catch all it's like five bucks honestly y'all it is not worth the five dollars <laughs> I don't think it's worth the five dollars but I love the colors on the front and the hashtag I just don't like dealing with returns. So it's $5 that Target can keep because I'm not going back to return. So, but I do want to show it to you because when I saw it, I thought of all of my crimsons and reds and Bordeaux's and Oxbloods and all of the bags in those colors that I don't necessarily have a little catch-all or tech for. And I decided I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. See, it's out of that little textile, um, kind of like the, what does it remind me of? It's thinner than the textile that's lining my Michael Kors cage tote. Um, it's thinner for any of you that have like the little uh, textile Sephora cosmetics, it's Thinner than that, you can actually see through this with the lighting. You probably can't see through it on camera. But it's thin, and that's what it is on the back. Revlon on the back, and it just says here, live boldly. So, I uh, was highly disappointed with the purchase, but I'd be dang blasted if I'm getting in my car driving back to Target for $5. So they can keep it. <laughs> they can keep it. But kind of pull some of the berry metallic y colors in here. And let's see what it looks like with. Uh oh, let me. See if I can get it without flipping everything over. I don't know what it's going to look like with this red. I feel like my lighting is off a little bit tonight. I don't know. But I could use it as a catch-all. If I need it to, want it to. Or use it for nothing at all. It doesn't even matter. $5.00. Definitely not bone. It is definitely true white. Um, here we go. Not as stark as this one, but yeah, close enough. I can make them work. I can make them work. Um... This would also be really good if you were looking for something that could kind of go from bag to bag to bag with like your little hand sanitizer and maybe your little travel size of um, wipes, those kinds of things, your an extra face mask just in case you ran out the house and God forbid you forgot one. Please don't leave the house without one. Um, or you could use it uh, to Rosalind's point for all your tech stuff. But, I mean, it's 
with the colors. I could put coral with it. A hmm. little bit of magenta. It's got black. I can make it work. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work. So five five dollars is not worth me getting in my car, going to Target, standing in line with people that don't understand social distancing, and then dealing with a cashier. Thank you to five dollars. It's just not that serious to me. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I have. If you have, if you're like me and you are kind of slowly, you know, mellowing out from the fact that Dooney um, doesn't necessarily have new or fresh or different for this sale, go back, take a look at it through the lens of gift giving um, and accessories where you may need a color or maybe you're looking for something that's printed that can kind of go from bag to bag to bag for a season or with a, a color palette that you um, use often, right? For every red bag, every green bag, you can make this work. Probably not the best pattern for Christmas time, but it's got red and green, so why not? It's, it, it will work in your leaf it will work in your grass it will work in teal it, it like we've already gone through the colors so you can you can make it work you can make it work so take a look now that you're either shopping the sale differently based on our discussion tonight or shopping for others to get ahead of the holiday shopping rush because I would imagine that we're going to be doing most, if not all, of our holiday shopping, I will, online. I will not be out during flu season and in a mask and standing in lines in the cold. So the sooner you can get your list checked off, the less likely you are to be in that holiday frantic rush of package deliveries because we all know what happens then. So just save yourself some stress if you have the money to start buying one or two things now go ahead pick those up and put them aside while there's a decent sale a good sale it's a good sale going on and you'll have nice gifts for others i think part of the reason now it's not a think Oftentimes, people that go into debt during the holidays go into debt because they're kind of already strapped for cash, and now you're trying to add on a bunch of other expenses that you have not properly prepared for. Christmas comes the same time on the same date every year, so it's one of those things that you should be able to kind of prepare for. Um, so if you start picking up things now, put them aside, then not only can you give, in my opinion, nicer gifts, because you're not trying to buy for everybody at one time, you can be a bit more thoughtful about your gift selection, uh, again, because you're not just limited to the items that are available during the cold weather season. Because by the time we get to Christmas, people are, they already have warm weather, spring, summer vacation, on their minds not everybody wants a sweatshirt or t-shirt or leggings with like mrs claus on them and 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 wreaths and reindeers and snowflakes so give something that can be used beyond the holiday season so let me take a quick look at the comments and then i'm gonna get out of here i am gonna uh, go a little off script today for sunday dinner i'm gonna make fish tacos tonight i don't know why i got a taste for them so that's what I'm going to do. Um, while I am catching up on the thread, if you would, please kindly hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment, whether you're in the live chat or if you're watching this on the replay. Let me know what, if anything, you are looking at on either of the Dooney sites. Whether you're planning to pull the trigger on it or not is irrelevant. I just want to see if there are things that are on your radar that triggers me to give it a second glance, kind of like me being late to this bandwagon, I want to know what you're teetering back and forth on or what you are or are maybe going to purchase. 
let me know what that looks like because I got some scrolling I need to do. Let me also catch up on my hellos. Florentine Quack, Roslyn, Lucinda, T.L. Bo, Military Mom, The Closet Dive, Diane Brody, Lucas D925, Bags of Love, M Squared, Florentine Quack, I think I already said that. Hi, Sunny Skies. Uh, Keisha M, welcome. Vader May, hello, hello, hello. Who else am I missing here? I'm still scrolling. Hi, Samford, welcome. I'm so happy, y'all. So Samford and I are connected. I hope I'm, I'm about I'm about to put your business out. You can send me a nasty gram on Instagram. Um, but he was looking for some um male skincare routine regimen products, tools, etc. He for those because I think everybody in here is addicted to their Clarisonic. He just purchased his first Clarisonic, the Men's Mia. And he is in love. He said his skin is, <laughs> has never felt as clean as it is now. Um, so for those of you that have significant others that are into a skincare routine, um, maybe recommend either the products that you use that he also uses or products that your male significant other uses that they're pleased with from a skincare routine let Sanford know he has been in the chat participating for the last two weeks and y'all know we don't discriminate around here guys girls pets everybody's welcome y'all just know you won't find scruffy hanging around these parts all right I'm moving on <laughs> Rosalind Ellis hello uh, Suzette Leal, welcome, welcome, welcome. Says what? I think I'm repeating names now. Let me see who else signed in later. Uh, let's see. Hi, Carmen. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Phenomenal personality. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, did you pull the trigger on anything from the body shop? I'm just curious. I know we talked about it for their sale because I have not gotten my order back yet. For those of you that um, didn't know, the Body Shop has a summer sale similar, loosely similar to um, Bath and Body Works. Completely different products. But, I mean, if you're like into bath bombs or body sprays and things like that, you might want to check them out. Um, I did pick up some stuff over there, particularly nail care stuff, because I only use glass nail files on my nails. I've seen your messages and your comments asking about a nail care routine, because some of you are scratching your heads about whether or not you're going to go back to the nail salon. I don't. I've got a thing about um, the acrylic being on my nails. I used to keep my nails done, and then it dawned on me that the folks that are in the shops... Um, that at least I was going to they didn't have acrylic or gel nails on they were sitting in there with a mask on and I started thinking they aren't using their own product that's the first thing um, the second thing is clearly it can't be that healthy because they are already wearing a mask to keep from inhaling it and I am gonna allow them to put that on my nail bed so that it can soak into my bloodstream no thank you so I am, I gave that up many, many years ago, um, but I only use glass nail files and the body shop actually has their little small, um, soft, the, it's the soft file, I think it's called a soft file glass file for two bucks. So if you are experimenting for the first time with your natural nails, get away from emery boards. Get away from those metal files. Get away from those little blocks of foam that are textured. Give the glass nail files. Um, I have had some for years because you use them and then when you get ready to clean them, you just soap in water, let it air dry, and you can use it for over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I, I love them. They had them for two bucks, so I picked them up. I have the bigger glass files, the thicker ones that I've picked up pre-quarantine. Pre 
I use those on um, my feet. Now, I was getting my toes done far more regular than my um, nails, but I am fully capable of doing both at home. Check out the Body Shop. $2, you cannot go wrong. Um, for um, my nail strengthener, I have that listed in my Amazon store, but it's the Nail Tech, N-A-I-L-T-E-K, because there's a different version out there. There's a T-E-C. Don't use that one. I don't. Um, Nail Tech, and it's the Formula 2, which is a strength formula, and it also helps with peeling because my nails, well, it was almost like they separate, like the top separates from the bottom. The glass nail files help to stop that because it seals the nail um, layers back together so they don't split. And then I use the Nail Tech 2. I know I'm going, some of y'all are like, we went from purses. Yep, yep. Um, I use that to strengthen them because my nails are extremely, extremely soft. And that Nail Tech 2 formula makes them hard as nails. Now, they will still pop. Y'all can see I broke this one. It's, on, it's growing back. And then I broke this one. Um, but they'll grow back quickly. And I usually use the Nail Tech because it's just a clear formula. I try to use it like when I'm in a good routine. I try to use it two or three times a week, like about every other day. And I um, use my glass nail file at least one day per week. At least one. Um, and I know they don't look as nice as some of your salon nails, but they are mine. They're my God-given growing nails. Um, the other thing is I use either um, Satch Vite as my top, um, top coat. Um, but what I prefer, believe it or not, is the oily top to bottom because I put on my nail tech, then I can use, um, or not, the uh, top to bottom from Orly as a base coat, then nail polish, and then I can use it as a top coat. And I can get about a week out of those, particularly if I'm using a dishwasher or using gloves when I'm washing dishes. Um, it helps to stretch um, a manicure. And I only, I don't, I don't use anything like wet and wild, not nail polish, not eyeliner, not mascara, not, I don't use anything from wet and wild. Um, I've, I've told y'all about my allergies. I'm still, I still got some hives I'm dealing with right now. Um, but I've had the, the, um, the formula for wet and wild does not agree with me for anything. Um, so like nail polish, it's Essie, it's Orly, it is Nail Tech actually also makes, um, nail polish as well. So I really like their formula. Um, for cuticle oil, I actually have a cuticle oil and it just said, I don't know what the brand is, but it just says cuticle oil. I picked it up from Sally's and it's kind of in a big bought a big bottle but um for those of you that some of your like coconut oils olive oils um if you still have like an old school african pride oil that you might have been using on your hair those also say that you can use them as cuticle oils um julep um julep nails they also have a cuticle oil or cuticle cream I use that one. I also have one from Sally Henson. Who else? I think Orly has one um, as well. I'm trying to think of who else that I might use. But that's it for me for nail care. It is pretty basic, really basic. Nail tech and a glass nail file, that is the staple for me. Y'all know more often than not, all you see are my natural nails and a clear coat of nail polish. Sometimes I'll put polish on. So most times I won't. I can polish my toes far better than I can polish my hands just because I'm right-handed. And when I go from right to left to do my right hand, it's still a struggle. 
Um, all right. Um, what else do I want to talk about on here? Diva 9000, welcome. Um, who else am I missing? Becky in Texas, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure that you're hitting the thumbs up while you are here. I'm just getting names right now, and I, I will go back to comments. Samariah Robertson, welcome. Let's see. I think, I think, do I have everyone? I said hello to Florentine Black already. Says what? Be Star Vibe. I think I've gotten, um, I think I've gotten everybody now. Bags of Love, Sunny Skies. I think I've gotten everyone. No! Peaches C, welcome. Glad to have you. Mono's Beauty, hello, hello, happy Sunday. Are you looking at the large Camden hobo? I'm looking at it as well. Florentine, red. If I'm going to pull the trigger on something, it will be that because there's the extra 20% off of it. And that doggone DJ King has gotten a hold of me. So I might be pulling the trigger on that one. I, I didn't, I don't know if anybody answered you about whether or not they have it, but I will be going back through the comments to see what those responses are. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I've gotten everyone, unless somebody snuck in. Hello, Elizabeth Burton, welcome. Happy Sunday, glad to have you. Purse Delighted, happy Sunday, welcome. I'm so glad that there are some new names popping up in the chat. Sunflowerish6, welcome, happy Sunday. Bad Crazy, Jan Mills, welcome, happy Sunday. OG Cherie, hello, hello. Welcome, Pray On, hello, happy Sunday. Who else am I missing? Monitha Wilson. Welcome. Happy Sunday. I hope you all are well. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that are seeing people like out and about and they don't have face coverings on? And I'm thinking, did y'all get a memo that I didn't get? Because last time I checked, we were still in a pandemic. Put your damn mask on. <laughs> y'all, it is. It has been crazy. I realize that the safest place for me has always been and continues to be the four walls that make up my humble abode. So I'm going to stay home. Um, that's all I have. Y'all, I'm not sure um, about Sunday next week. I am planning to travel for the first time since all of this started. I think I may come back home actually on Saturday, which I know is the holiday, but I think the travel may be a little lighter and easier that way. So, um, for now, we're going to say yes. If I am not, I will post it on the community page. So stay close to that. Um, and I will let you know if for some reason I am not going to make it. Right now we're going to say yes. Dunkin' Donuts Dragon Fruit Refresher. Because I'm anti-Starbucks right now. I know some of the, I, I'm not going to do the poly political thing. But um, I like Starbucks refreshers. And right now I'm having to redirect my funds. So, shout out to Dunkin' Donuts because I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do prefer my tea and my fruit drinks. So, they got a little bit of my money today. That's all I have. I'm going to get ready to put these accessories away. I am going to start my fish tacos for dinner. Don't judge me. It's hot in Georgia, and we're going to do a light and easy dinner tonight. And um, I will spend a little bit of time on Dooney and IOD trying to see if there is anything that needs to be in my cart for purchase. So, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. We have a lot of fun over there. It's not just all about handbags over there. We talk about skincare. Um, we are having fun being hashtag at home together. 
their games and puzzles and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Do you enjoy the Instagram space or am I just like, is it a waste? I think I think y'all like it. I like interacting with you um, over there. It gives us um, another platform to stay in touch when there's not a video or when there's not a live. So, um, please make sure that you are checking out the content of my tribe sisters it looks like there's been a lot of content uploaded so please 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 make sure that you are checking them out mrs q will be back for for real friday on um at 8 30 eastern 7 30 central we're all hanging out over there kind of catching up from the week having some cocktails you know, shoes off, bras off, pants off, whatever you want to do over there. We just got to hang out and decompress. So make sure that you're hanging out on Friday. And I'm going to do my best to be back um, Sunday in time for Feed Your Addiction. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. Be safe. Stay well. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.